I imagine 10 to 15 years since we had to, we put had this put in. I helped. But my neighbor was an air conditioning guy. And he, he, they, him and well, him and uh, the boy that he's he's a grown man now, but he, we're all old now. But we grew up together. Uh, did it. He's young, he's younger than me, but. I think that the reason it's all white in there is not just a reflection of the light, but because because I've got it pretty well. This time I got it dialed in to where I have to let go of it. Well, that's about where I had a hold of it. Okay, let me get this moved. There we go. Yeah. It looks like it's convex instead of concave in the video, but there we go. Yeah, I can see now where the uh, the pipes beginning to show up, and I can see the lint right there. Yep. And I think those are scrape marks from me shoving that camera up in there. Oh yeah, it's all it's it's right there. Okay, it was right on the edge. So we've got five to six feet. I can't really tell up in there. Yeah, I was wanting to go ahead and since I've I was trying to do all the washing that we haven't been able to do for the week or week and a half, two weeks that this thing has been down. Uh, and I was on my first load and I thought well it sure would be nice to just it does make a lot of heat in, in here and it's noisier I didn't realize how much noisier it was with that off but uh, well, there's no point in sticking that back up in there I know it only goes that far I've got twice as much more than twice as much cable left that I could go if it would go any further so the fact that it's stopping I mean, it's a four, inch, three, yeah, three or four inch cable. I think it's it's four cable. It's a four inch exhaust pipe, and uh, it would not stop this thing at you know four or five feet. The weight of this would not. I'm <laughs> real certain it could make it <coughs> a lot further. Maybe it should should make it as far as I could go with it, you know. But. Uh, Stop. So I'm going to say there's enough lint in there that I really do need to. I mean, I've got the vacuum. Well, actually, my, my ho longest hose I've got for it is. Uh, let me pick this this uh, thing up and put it back on the dryer so that I don't mess it up. Okay, now. I'm already feeling hungry again. Guess it might be getting on time for my lunch already. Let's see. I don't think I really need my makeshift mouse pad right now. Now that's all taped on there, so... Go back to the dryer. So uh, the camera is, you know, taped into the USB and we're supported. So I'm going to leave it on there for now. Did I stop my video? Yeah. So we'll quit this application. And I think I better roll this whole cable up before. Gets on on something and causes some real trouble. I'm not sure completely that I'm done using it, so I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe it as I wipe it off as I roll it up. I think I should start at the this end. There. 
Now, uh, how am I going to wrap you up? Trying to do it without too much stress on the uh, feel. I think I should turn the laptop this way. Shut it again. I'm used to leaving it open because it's on my web server, but it don't have Wi. Uh, I don't have the Wi-Fi driver on it. I tried to even anyway. Uh, so it's not on the internet right now. Because it would have just, you know, nothing would have went down on my website. Because my Wi-Fi will reach right here just fine. Usually. Anyway, it does with my phones. Never drug this out here. Uh, well, not not to. Uh, yes, I have. But I have another router. It doesn't work good anymore. I have an old Linksys uh, WGRT, the old popular one, out here. And I would set it up as a wireless repeater. I actually have... Uh, well, it wouldn't do that on uh, on its firmware. I put WD, DDWRT on it, and it uh, was a wireless repeater. But it first one of the Ethernet ports died on it, and then I left it out here doing that for quite a couple of years or three, and it got to where it wouldn't do one or two more than one or two megabits. So uh, yeah, that. Uh, not twisting the ca I knew that would be a big problem. Not twisting that cable where it goes. That's the one place where they'll break easy. Is there, I don't think there's a good strain relief in those. It's kind of hard to strain relief something well enough for that stiff of a cable. Uh, and, you know, the wires themselves are going to be real small. But that was a complaint I saw when I bought that thing. People said that it doesn't have, you know, it breaks. But if you're, so far I've been careful enough not to break it, but I haven't messing with it outside like this before either so anyway open that up it's not won't cool that way it'll really get hot okay bag is just in my way now all right uh i mean if i got let me see if i get the vacuum out let's go back here and look for a minute I'll go back here and look at all the hoses I got and see. Uh, need another drink of water first. I'm not fond about the idea of getting one of those brushes because I'm talking about covering yourself in dust and breathing it. I've cleaned it out. Last time I really I cleaned it out, I did clean it out with the vacuum hose. I went up as far as I could. And that well, let me go back here, but it's clogged up the one of the hose that I used last time. And uh, this fan's in where I need to go. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I guess the interior of it, I guess it's just like this tube. It fits it and it works pretty good. It's so like an inch and a quarter or so. The inside of that one, I think, is uh, it always oh, uses an adapter to fit. This is a house style, you know. But uh, it, I mean, it's for a house vacuum. That I don't know if we still have it. It doesn't work. I know it's not. It was pretty well wore out. Oh, I think we do still have it. It does still work. I wouldn't try vacuuming that with it. You have. I've got a good shop back. Yeah, I think it's over around in here. Around here somewhere. I think it works. There's another one, but that's not it. Anyway, I have some holes in this box that I was thinking, okay, I might be able to get enough length to use in that. Along with my big, I use my big four inch hose. It's about six feet long or something. Oh, it's not in that box. All the adapters are in there. Where's that hose at? I don't know where it is now. But I've got, I could go from the big hose to the little hose, but then that big hose I don't think would turn that corner to go up in there. The other one's kind of hard to get to, so there's no point in getting it out just to show it. But it's a rigid vacuum, 14 gallon, 6 horsepower, peak. It's good. Uh, it's a little worse for the wear. 
now, but it still works good. But uh, I had to lubricate the motor. It sat with water in it for a while, and it was not turning good. But, uh, you know, it's a wet dry vac. But they always tell you to empty them. I ruined my, uh, I ruined my, when I had, well, back in the 70s. I think I, I, had, I think it was in the early 80s when I ruined it. I still have it because I keep thinking I'm going to take it apart. And, uh, it, it rusted up. The motor rusted where it won't turn. It tries to come on and it just sits there humming. And it was a pretty good little vacuum for back for back in those days. You know, they didn't make real big horsepower ones. Or if they did, they cost too much to buy for the house, home use, you know. But uh, put this tie on, on this camera. I'm thinking while I'm sidetracking here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big chore to run the vacuum hose through there anyway. And I can't get, I mean, it's only about, I think it might be 10 feet long. So let's say I was able to get 8 feet of it in there. Of course, the vacuum ain't going to lay down on the floor and work. But, uh, oh, now I'm sitting down. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, let's see if I can get up. All right. Uh, the vacuum, those brushes, I guess what I can do is, uh, yeah, now I see how dark I look with that uh, dialed down. Uh, just one, negative one. It's, I don't know what it represents. It's just... Negative one, two, three, four, you know, and positive one, two, three, four, and so on. It goes like to 10 or something. I don't see how you, well, maybe if you're outside in really bright light, but inside under normal, you know, regular lighting, with a back, especially with the backlight of, of the room, there's, there's one light here and then everything else will be backlight the way the camera's pointing. Uh, pretty dark. At least it looks that way in the preview. I, I never trust the ones on my phone because they're not close to what you get. Well, not in OBS Studio anyway. Uh, Color-wise and brightness, it's real hard to tell. Uh, and but uh, this one was well, small, so small I can, can't see it good. But uh, actually, the brightness seems to come out pretty close to what it looks like in that. And and I guess the color too, yeah. Okay, so I think maybe I need one of those brushes. I don't want to buy you. The cheapest one I've seen is 25 bucks, you know. And uh, that, that looks like it'd be worth having. But, um, be good. And they're, they're, well, I don't know if they'll do that 90 degree angle, though. They're flexible and they'll turn, but... They're on like a, usually they're on a fiberglass rod. I don't know that it would turn that whole, whole 90 degree angle. Let's get back down there again. I don't know if you can see that good. But, uh, yeah, see this last one turns 90 degrees. Uh, of course I can take it off. If I, if I needed to, I could take it off, but I can only raise it up so high. That's it right there. That's not really going to make a lot of difference. It might make just enough difference if it doesn't want to go around that 90. I might have just enough to get it through there, through that pipe. And I could take this one off. I'm scared to take any off, like I said, because I know that doesn't lose, uh, you know, get out of the pipe that it's in. But that extra six or eight inches might be just enough to make it come out of there. And then that would be another can of worms that I don't want to get into. How come? Oh, okay. I was kind of wondering why. Hold still. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm disappointed that I couldn't see better than that, but I believe now I thought all that white, at first I thought it was just reflection and washing out the camera, and then... It, but it looked awful fluffy. And then when I finally got to where I could know for sure that I was seeing, well, I saw at the very last there, I saw it come off of all that white. Then there were just little stray pieces. And then it was, you could tell it was the pipe. And so that's all lint. And it stops after, what did I say, four feet, five feet? It must be have so much lint in there that the camera couldn't punch through it. That's what I'm going to go with then. So I think uh, rather than, yeah, the last thing I want to do is start taking that apart. 
I mean, you could take those two two joints off and still have it uh, have a couple of three feet sticking down from the attic. But you know, it's, the first thing it's going to do is going to go further than you mean for it to go. I mean, you could you know get a piece of two before or something to hold it up, but I know it. I know from my own ex you know from my life experience that it's I'm going to probably end up <laughs> forgetting and letting it uh, come too far down. Plus. I mean, that's only two joints. It's going all the way up through the attic. Through the attic. One, two, this one, three, four, five, five or six more joints. So I still couldn't get to it with the vacuum hose. It's probably, yeah, that's more distance than the length of my vacuum hose. Even if I found that other one. If I found that other one, it's really flexible, though. What I was talking about. <clears throat> uh could, there's a piece of PVC about five feet long that you could probably adapt onto the end of it. Well, it'd be unruly though to get the, if it get if you could get it up in there, you'd have to take those two joints off, get it up in there, and then stick the vacuum hose on it. That's an idea. Still thinking about doing the thing I said I don't want to do. The last time I did it, it wouldn't just vacuum it loose. You had to get on the sides and scrape. And then I started getting stuff coming through. And of course, you, you're doing it blind and you don't know what you're getting and what you're leaving. The brush is the only good way to do it. I was thinking, you know, that's why I want to look at it with the camera. Of course, I don't want to do all that if I don't have to, but I thought, well, if it's actually stopped up with uh, a bird nest, then you might not, that might not come out of there from the brush. Uh, it'd probably be hung up in there pretty good. Uh, you really need, would need to be up there and probably take the roof cap, the cap off the top. I th like I said, I think they're riveted on. I helped put them on back then. Or did I help put that one on? I did some others, bathroom fans. I helped put, I, I did mo uh, help put them on. Did all the ceiling work and everything on them. Me and me and my neighbor did it together. We were both up there doing it. Uh, and I did all the ceiling. I remember that, Just making sure it didn't, you know, leak. Had some um, caulk that had luminized caulk that was supposed to be real good. I used that under uh, all, you know, around the edges, under the shingles, everything. I was real worried about it leaking, and it has never leaked. But. Uh, I guess I really just need to get one of those. Uh, I think what I've run into is l so much lint that that little bitty camera. I mean, it's only it's not it's not a high. It's about three eighths in diameter, three eighths inch in diameter. It's not sticking all the way through there. So, well, I got enough dirty to be dirty, I, but not bad. I don't have them covered in my face and everything. Well, that's. I'm not going to hook up the event then. I'm just going to shove it back, plug it in, and oh, okay, I'll go ahead and do that and show how it, you know, how it's working. Where are we at on the time? Okay, we have started a new video, so yeah, that's what I ought to do. Okay, this thing. I'm trying to figure out where I want to set that laptop now. I think I'll set it right there. Okay. Now, uh, I think I should take my deal off of there. The more I move this thing around, I'm not using it. And the more I move it around, I guess I better pull this power cord loose. If I don't want to break that off. Those connectors break, will break. And we don't want to do that. Put my remote somewhere safe. Let's see. I think I'll turn my mouse off for now. Okay. I gotta turn this thing over. I'm trying to do it in a way that it shows up on the camera. Okay, yeah. Don't want this stuck on too long so it leaves residue on my laptop anyway. And that worked out good though, just taping that stick skinny 
It's actually a piece of masonite. It's not actually a piece of wood. That was just, just kind of a quick thing I found, you know, things that I had in here. And uh, let's see, let's float the, throw this back over. I think I should open it back up. And uh, so it's not getting hot. I go! Oh, dang it! Well, I've been doing good until just then. Yank my. Oh, it's still on my shirt. Yank my mic completely off of the clip. Got it hung on the dryer. That's why it, I realized that I usually do okay in the house, you know, and everything. I'm not moving around a whole lot, but out here, these things dangle. That's why uh, it was actually good that it was cool enough for me to need that flannel shirt. I wasn't getting hung on it. It had the shirt around it. What I was thinking I better do then, yeah. No point in running now. I'll shut it down. I was going to just plug it in, you know, to keep it from running down or anything. Let's see how the battery, well, it should. 100%, yeah, it, I, it didn't lose its power connections and all that. But you definitely, to make video with a slow laptop, you definitely need the, uh, um, power plugged in. And I'll just leave, leave it unplugged this now. I've been stepping on that. I think I'll put it up here. Let's see. Yeah, I won't plug it back in yet because when I put when I take it in the house, it will stay plugged in all the time, so it's going to get charged. Now, where's that knife? It's right here. This, yeah, that's how I got hung. Let's just stay away from that. I'm gonna, gonna have to pretty much cut this tape off here, looks like. Yeah, there we go. Oh. It's wrapped around that. I wrapped it around the cable to make it a strain relief. So now it doesn't want to come off. Let's see. Get that stick off of there. I was thinking the other day I, I noticed okay we got a brand new box and this one's really getting in bad shape the one that sits on the dryer with all the stuff in it I was thinking I want, might want to go ahead and swap, transfer that stuff over but I'm really getting hungry I think I might Start feeling real bad if I don't go ahead and eat. No point in that. And I have, yeah, I've been it's been long enough. Cause it's uh, I've been out here a while now. A couple, usually thirty minutes in my brain is about two hours in reality. <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna leave that on there and I'm gonna sit down in the house where I can see what I'm doing. I'll get that off of there. Yeah. I just, uh, since it was taped, you know, all the way down that stick, then it actually, I was seeing it was helping, it, you know, when you twist that, it would stop it from going too far. Now it's not doing anything. But, uh, well, I don't know if it helped that much. Seems like it's just turning on the, yeah, it is, it's turning on the cable. So it wasn't helping. I saw it, it looked like it was actually helping some, but I guess not. Okay, now... And this, well, I already said that a hundred times. Oh well, job's not done till it's done. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad I, I, you know, checked, double, triple checked on that because, well, I mean, I haven't been knowing I should and wanting to, but I haven't. Uh, oh, 